Christine. And today we're going to be talking about two of my favorite things. Netflix and books. <laughs> On Netflix, my love. And it's ultimate nemesis books. You know what? No, it's the other way around. Their ultimate nemesis of reading is Netflix. It takes you away from it. It makes you forget what books are. But I love them both equally. Just like I love the Yankees and the Red Sox. People say I'm not allowed. I grew up in New Jersey, went to college in Boston. Leave me alone. <laughs> what are we talking about first? Recently watched. The last book you finished reading was an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green, which I very much enjoyed. I did a book talk about it. Nobody watched it. I don't understand. People aren't reading Hank's book. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> I'm hoping to finish at least three more books by the end of the month. I'm being optimistic. Top picks of book or books that have been recommended to you based on books you've already read. On Netflix, one of the top picks for me recently was this show, Norseman. It was like some random Viking show that I've never heard of. And of course it caught my interest because I love the show Vikings on the History Channel. So I clicked on it. It became immediately apparent that it was like some weird, like satire, comedy parody. I, I only watched like a minute of it, but I was like, what is this? If anyone has watch this show. Let me know how it is. A book that's been recommended to me based on other books was Eliza and Her Monsters, a book I still really want to read. Haven't gotten to yet. It's been on my like immediate ASAP TBR shelf for over a year, I believe. And I want to read it. I really want to read it. I think this was recommended based off of my love of like fangirl. Guess who's getting a headache for her hair thing? Me. <laughs> seen those ads for Ponyo? Have you seen them on your Facebook? The perfect tie ponytail. It's this fancy hair tie. That's not like a tie. It's just like it, it opens into an O. It doesn't stretch. And I laughed at it and I was like, that looks dumb. And then it was so often in my Facebook ads, which damn, those fucking, those Facebook ads, they know who they're talking to. I want to try it. I want to try it because I'm always in search of the perfect tie pony. I always am. I got it. I've watched a million tutorials. I know how to do it. And I can barely get my hair through the O. And when I did, my hair was just like, the ponytail was just like so messed up. I'm so sad. Okay, so this is the best I could do. A little baby fountain on my head. If you have like fine hair, I'm sure it'll work beautifully. But my horse hair, it didn't. <laughs> Glory recently added the last book you bought the last book I bought was actually Shadow of the Fox by Julie Gagawa which is our November book explosion book of the month we're working with Harlequin in November and they actually tried to send me the book but the delivery guy wouldn't leave it at my door while I was away in Forks so to make matters easier I just went out and got it myself and by went out and got it I mean I ordered it off Amazon it's really shiny tomorrow I get to go out and buy a King of my bitch! popular on Netflix. Books that everyone knows about. Two that you have read and two that you have no interest in reading. For popular books that I have read, every Cassandra Clare book ever. These are popular on Netflix for a reason. They're amazing. And if you haven't read them yet, you should. I have elaborate book talks for every single book. The second book that's popular on Netflix that I've read is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This was great. I talked about this in my September stories I ate this month, so if you're interested, you can go check that out. And two popular books on Netflix that I have no interest in reading right now. Wow, tea. You're asking for some tea, and I'm gonna give it to you. Everyone's obsessed with tea nowadays. Spilling the tea is such a buzzword. Like, when did spilling the tea become the new give me gossip? Why? Why is tea equal to gossip? It's a drink that makes me feel warm and cozy inside. Gossip doesn't make you feel warm and cozy. It gives you this, like, weird thrill for a second, and you're like, hmm. Why did this happen? Sorry, sorry, another tangent, I'm back. The first book that's really popular on Netflix that I, at the moment, have no interest in reading is The Crown. I know, I'm sorry. I really wanna read it just so I can complete my series of selection book talks. But I don't have any interest in seeing what Edelin does with herself because she's such an asshole. And the other book that's popular on Netflix, I don't know, is this popular on Netflix? The Fifth Wave is popular on Netflix and this is the third book in the series and I was so 
excited to read it and then someone spoiled me right out the gate and of course now it's been like what almost two years and I haven't read it and it just makes me sad I want to hopefully someday get past this it's just really hard when you know a spoiler like I know it was the week it came out someone said it the week it came out when I spoiled a legion it was like six months later category we have here is comedies a funny book for this one i'm gonna say again but better by christine riccio this is actually coming out may 21st 2019 and it's available for pre-order now there's a link in the description shameless plug i'm actually going to say for comedy they both die at the end by adam silver just kidding so i'm actually gonna say the fontner stars by john green which is actually funny even though i know you're thinking this is just another joke because it is kind of. I'm actually gonna say Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss for comedy. This is a hoot. <laughs> just kidding. I actually really wanted to say Roomies by Christina Lauren for this one and I cannot find it on my bookcase. It's probably because I took down a bunch of books and put them in a bunch of Tupperware and I can't see, I can't find Roomies. But Roomies by Christina Lauren is an actual very funny rom-com book that I have read and enjoyed and cannot find to use for this answer. Dramas. A character that is a drama king or queen. So for this one, no doubt about it, I have to say Edward Cullen. His ability to overreact knows no bounds. Animated. A book with cartoons on the cover. For animated, I couldn't, I had to go with Percy Jackson. All the Percy Jackson books, these books are all so excellent. And they all have animations on the, on the cover. Illustrated, animated, same difference. Watch again! A book slash series that you'd like to reread. This one is actually a tie for me between, again, the Percy Jackson series because I've started to forget these because I read them in like 2013 and the Throne of Glass series, which I've only been able to read through once, but I absolutely loved and are kind of obsessed with. The details from both of them have faded slightly in my head because I've only read them once. There's so many books I love that I love to reread, but I have such a big TBR that it makes it really hard to allow yourself to do that. Documentary. A nonfiction book you'd recommend to everyone. You know what's crazy? I think I've only ever read one nonfiction book all the way through. And that one book was popular by Maya Van Wagnon. I mean, there's probably other ones I'd enjoy. I just, I'm like not in that world. I'm not very interested in nonfiction. If you do have any thrilling nonfictions that you'd like to recommend to me, please do. The next category is action and adventure. An action-packed book. There are quite a few action-packed books that I've read, but none really compare to my first read of Divergent. Like, I don't know if you missed Divergent. This book was a roller coaster ride from start to finish. Like, it never stopped moving. And then I recommended it to literally everyone for like the following two years. There's constantly shit happening and you're constantly like, ah, what? Just strap in, it doesn't let go until the end. And the last section we have here is new releases. Netflix like never knows what I wanna watch it seems. Like when To All The Boys Loved Before came out, in the new release box at the top of the screen was not To All The Boys I Loved Before. And I was like, do you know me at all, Netflix? Like I rate stuff, I've been rating stuff since 2009 when I got Netflix. Why can't you predict what I want to watch. When Orange is the New Black came out, same deal. I was like, where is it? Why wouldn't you have it as your full banner for me? Okay, I want to watch it and I don't see it. I've watched all the other seasons of Orange is the New Black. It's like, it's getting dumber as it goes along or no, it's getting dumber. Why? Anyway, for this category, it's a book that just came out or will be coming out soon that you're really excited to read. I have two books. I am like 130 pages into one of its us and I'm having the best Time. It was everything I've ever wanted. Oh my god, I love it. And Wild Card also recently came out, and I really want to read this one. I've already heard just amazing things about Wild Card, so I am pumped. Tomorrow Kingdom of Ash comes out. I have so many books to finish. That is it for the Netflix and books tag. I am Christine. I am at XTNBay on Twitter and Instagram. I make videos every Tuesday. I am also an author. My debut novel, Again the Better, is available for pre-order now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!